the offspring of mothers with gestational diabetes are prone to grow larger and become macrosomic. Macrosomic means the baby can be really large. This can be associated with difficult delivery, possible birth trauma to the baby, such as nerve injury and bone fractures. There is also an increased risk of trauma to the mother and especially to the perineum. The perineum is the tissue over which the delivery takes place in a vaginal delivery. And there is also an increased risk of cesarean delivery. Immediately after the delivery, the infant may have low blood sugar and develop jaundice. Other blood abnormalities in the baby may also develop, such as high calcium. Women who develop gestational diabetes are also more likely to develop type 2 diabetes or adult onset diabetes later in life. They are also more likely to have a recurrence of gestational diabetes in future pregnancies. In gestational diabetes, insulin, a natural hormone, becomes less effective at lowering blood sugar. The hormones of pregnancy decrease even more the ability of insulin to lower blood sugar. The majority of patients with gestational diabetes will have normal blood sugar after the delivery. However, they are at higher risk of developing adult onset diabetes later in life. In some women, diabetes will be diagnosed soon after delivery. It is recommended to have a diabetes test after the delivery, usually at the six weeks postpartum visit.